As I'm standing in front of Independence Hall, I just wanted to drop three reasons on why I vote real quick. Uh, first, people who look like me, uh, my ancestors couldn't take part in this action and I believe it's, um, it's, it's, it's part of my civic duty. I vote because when the people vote, the people win. Voting is important to me because it's one of the very few constitutional powers we as citizens have to control the political situation in our country. I vote because I refuse to believe our community doesn't have power. I'm, I'm an optimist. I believe that we're always working towards a more perfect union and that we can improve and we can achieve a better future. Voting is our way to ensure that our policymakers reflect who we are and care about protecting our rights. I'm tired of old white dudes writing laws that affect me and future generations. I'm a mom. I am a doctor. I am super busy, so I'm making this video with no makeup on and my hair crazy because I think it's important. I am a Pashtun and I'm an American. And if you are any of those two, I urge you to vote. The reason I'll be voting is because it's very, very important. We need to um, think globally and act locally. Um, so I will be voting on the propositions and also because our counterparts in Afghanistan risk their lives to vote. So I will be taking my bougie ass and my fur coat to the polling station. And it would be a shame if we did not exercise that power. I think it's my, my best form of um, civic action. I, it's a way for me to protest a lot of the policies that are going on and do my part to further um, what I believe America should look like. And because I love Fremont and want to make sure it's in good hands. I'm voting this upcoming election because I'm tired of people of color and low-income communities being the first ones negatively affected, but also the last ones to have their voices heard. So I'm voting to get these people out and get some younger blood in there to actually make some real change. Growing up in Fremont, California, I was always amazed about how the city, who had the highest population of Afghans, had never had an Afghan on its city council, especially because all the Afghans I know have a lot of opinions and love to voice them. So please, this November, go out and vote. It's the Afghan way. It's important to vote because we as youth need to have our voices heard. In today's political administration right now, a lot of fear mongering is used. So it's important for us to get our narratives out there and make sure our voice is heard. I vote because these policies affect my community's future. Hi everyone, I vote because when I think about what politicians have done to my groundwater, to my drinking water, to the oceans, to native land, when I think about what developers are trying to do to my city, um, when I think about displacement, when I think about gun control, when I think about funding for schools, when I think about uh, public infrastructure and public transportation, I get angry. Midterm elections are right around the corner and I need everyone to try and get out to vote. I'm voting to ensure that my voice is heard during this election. I'm voting because I believe the most effective way to push for social change and fight systemic oppression is at the ballot box. I'm voting in the upcoming elections to ensure my voice is heard, as every vote matters. The upcoming midterm elections on November 6th is probably one of the most important elections that all Americans should exercise their right to vote in. The current political climate has placed Medicare, abortion rights, social justice issues, education, taxes, and others at the center of attention and the center of political debates. I'm voting because I want my voice to be heard and I can't affect change if I'm sitting on the sidelines. I'm voting because I want to see a change in Congress. As Americans, I think we have this unique bond of exercising our free will for a better life. I vote because I want to have a voice. That's why I urge you all to vote November 6th. I am voting and going out to vote with my family because if my ancestors have taught me anything, it's that if someone is doing wrong by you, you're gonna try to go and fix it. And you should do the same. Rax the vote. So please, please, please go out and vote. One way I can channel that anger is to get out and vote. Vote for the people who are in power, vote for the people who are making laws, and especially vote for the laws themselves. So I hope you get out and vote on November 6th. And as someone who works in government, I've seen that my vote makes a huge difference in not only my community, but also my nation. So the results of this midterm election will really affect the outcomes of these debates on a state level while impacting the rest of the presidency in the two years that's left of it. And I know a lot of people say voting doesn't make a difference, my vote won't count, I'm a political atheist, etc., etc., etc. But to me, local politics and local government affects my day-to-day -day so much and it affects your day-to-day -day so much that we really need to take time and just affect
few minutes, not even that long, just a few minutes to do research on the propositions that are being passed within our county, within our districts. And I want to use my right to vote for those who are underrepresented and voiceless. So go out and vote on November 6th. We don't sit down. We stand up and take a stand and we go out and vote because that's how we do it here. I hope you vote too. Go out there. And it's time to put people that represent us and our voices and our views in positions of influence.